My name is Jamison Lang. I am 16 years old and I'm from Little Rock, Arkansas. I got started in lacrosse at the summer going into my second grade year, and then I kind of just picked it up from there and then kept developing. Lacrosse means a lot to me because it's my favorite pastime. It's one of the things that I would like to try to use as a way to go to college. I want to try out for Team USA again this summer, and it's what I've planned my whole life around up until this point. I knew something was wrong after I came home from practice one day. My wrist was slightly swollen and it was also really sore. The pain had been coming and going and then it finally just stayed for a while. So that's when we decided that I needed to get my wrist checked out. Jameson was born um, with a condition where one of the bones in his forearm was longer than the other. And ultimately what's happening is the ulna bone, the forearm bone on the pinky side of the wrist, is bumping into or impacting the small bones in the wrist with each movement. We tried conservative things like taping his wrist, trying to modify things, but we just never really could get the pain to calm down. It was affecting his ability to perform his sport, which is a huge part of his life. And so that's ultimately when we ended up considering surgery for him. There was a lot of thoughts that went through my head. I got worried, wondering if I was going to be able to play again. Dr. Wyrick gave me kind of a sense of security. It gave me an idea that I will be able to play again. It won't just end my career right there. What we're able to do to surgically treat this condition, and it's unique because Jameson was still growing at the time. We actually slow down the growth of the ulna by doing a procedure here in the area of the growth plate. That allows this radius bone then over time to catch up, to gain a few millimeters of growth, and then that way with growth, this difference in the length of the two bones can correct itself, thereby correcting the problem. We also did what's called a wrist arthroscopy to then address and treat this ligament tear in this piece of cartilage here at the same time. So it was a really a pretty minimally invasive procedure. It's an outpatient procedure. You wear a cast for about a month afterwards and then there's a, a course of therapy to work on getting the mobility back and then ultimately return to play a couple of months after the surgery. So we did this procedure on one side and got him recovered and he was doing well and then um, through the course of play started to develop similar symptoms on the other side which we then treated surgically in the same way very successfully and that allowed him to get rid of the pain that he was having, return to that high level of play to the sport that he loves. My experience with Dr. Wyrick was amazing. She and her team were just always there, they'd answer questions, they'd make sure that you felt as comfortable as you could possibly be in your given situation. I think that the care of um, small children and particularly growing children is very unique to what we're able to offer here at Arkansas Children's Hospital. The hand is very detailed, very complex, very intricate tendons, bones, ligaments, nerves, um, all of these very small detailed things. Add to that that they're in smaller patients. We just want to make sure that our care is the absolute best for them, specialized and tailored to specifically what children need, done by experienced pediatric hand surgeons, just to make sure that they have every opportunity to use their hands for whatever they might have an aptitude or a love for as they grow.